Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about the general design considerations for the immobilization process. So our today's topic is general design considerations. General design considerations for immobilization of enzymes. Immobilization of enzymes. So, uh, in our previous lecture, we have seeing the different methods of immobilization. Now we will be seeing what are the gen general design considerations for the immobilization process. In this we will be uh, pointing out towards important factors uh, that influence in the immobilization of enzymes as well as uh, what should be taken care of uh, at the time of immobilizing enzymes. So uh, in the methods of enzyme immobilization, we had seen two different types of methods. Uh, three, we can say, career-based methods in which we had a support and career-free methods in which the enzymes were attached to each other. in the form of crystals or aggregates that is free of support or car carrier and the other was membrane based methods okay so in all these methods first of all we must know about our enzyme knowledge about enzyme enzyme to be immobilized from knowledge about enzyme to be immobilized it is important to know about the active site of the enzyme location of the active site and residues involved in the active site because we don't want to lose our active site okay and if we we are going to bind our enzyme in these two cases if we are going to bind our enzyme we must choose a support even in case of adsorption also you must choose a support and in case of covalent binding a uh, spacer arm such that it does not attaches itself to the residues involved in the active site because this might result into complete loss of enzyme activity okay so it's better to target residues again it is about the enzyme itself we must know about the residues the amino acids at the opposite end at the opposite end from the active site because we prefer binding of our enzyme so, so uh, in such a manner in such a manner that the active side of enzyme is facing readily outwards of the support for example we can have our active site here our active site will be here and if some enzyme it attached here 
will prefer of having that to side located at just the radial end outward end of the enzyme and the binding should be as as possible as at the just opposite end of the active site if it is even if it is multi point attachment even then it should be uh, at focused towards most of the residues at the opposite side of the active site so this uh, knowledge about the enzyme structure and the amino acid sequence must be available to us for better understanding of or for better designing uh, the immobilization process okay so when we are clear on which residues we can attach our enzyme to onto the support or uh, along with each other using the cross linking methods and in the entrapment method we need not focus on uh, the properties of the enzyme but yes we might we must know about the kinetics the kinetic parameters again this is about the enzyme the kinetic parameters of the free enzyme of the free enzyme you must have knowledge about the kinetic parameters of the free enzyme now which immobilization method to choose now this depends upon what is our substrate substrate okay if the substrate is hydrophobic we need a support or a medium which is which might be hydrophobic or if you are using hydrophilic medium then our enzyme should be bound to some support or some environment or some membrane which is hydrophobic so that it attracts the substrate in itself okay so uh, a lot depends upon the nature of our substrate so we must have knowledge about our sub substrate okay and then the reaction and the reaction environment and finally about the product because a good immobilization process would be one in which substrates are attracted towards the enzyme along with the enzyme would attract the substrate because it is a substrate of that enzyme the support or the surrounding uh, the the mode of immobilization if it is assisting in the attraction of the substrate towards the enzyme and making more substrate available to the enzyme then that immobilization process will be better for that enzyme and similarly if the repulsion for product is higher due to the immobilization method if the immobilization method is assisting in repulsion of the product or accumulation of the product so that we can purify we can get a purified form of the product if such things if such uh, objectives are facilitated by the immobilization method then that immobilization method will be better for that particular reaction now after having knowledge of, of about all these things then we need to decide which immobilization process to choose the availability of raw material the availability of support immobilizing methods which immobilization method is most convenient for you to use and to check the enzyme activity after immobilization that could be Uh, in the experimental phase also uh, if you want to just study about the loss in activity of the enzyme or the performance of the enzyme uh, on immobilization then we can look for any available method for immobilizing 
else if you want to uh, look out for long term goals then we can uh, choose the best method for immobilization based upon the prior knowledge of the reaction the substrate the product and the enzyme based upon their knowledge we can choose the best method for our enzyme okay when uh, attaching the enzyme to a support as uh, i mentioned earlier we need to check that the bonding the if it is a multi point attachment then it should be not so much that it inactivates the enzyme and it uh, it makes the enzyme incapable of performing its uh, prime function that is the catalytic reaction so the binding should be enough to keep the active sites active okay and this applies for all the cases and the permeability of the uh, membrane in which we are encapsulating the enzyme should not be so much that the enzyme could leak out it should be it should entrap the enzymes encapsulate the enzymes completely and we know that entrapment is a very weak form of immobilization so there uh, the major drawback itself there is leakage of the enzyme so if we can prevent uh, the leakage of enzyme by uh, slight modifications then it is also uh, a good method because enzymes are large in Uh, are larger structures enzymes are larger structures than the substrate and the product generally generally speaking but sometimes it's not the case uh, in case of polymerization the product might be larger than the enzyme itself so uh, again based upon our substrate re uh, the reaction and the product we need to design the immobilization process okay now comes the evaluation of the evaluation of the immobilization process and in the evaluation when we evaluate something when we get values of the process we can optimize the different parameters or different methods of immobilization so evaluation and immobilization comes hand in hand okay so in our next lecture we will be dealing with the evaluation of immobilization process and and the optimization of the process and also the factors affecting the immobilization process okay thank you thank you